what's going on guys welcome back so today we're gonna start taking the engine apart so we're gonna start with the cold air intake i only got probably about an hour you know to take the most i can off before i go to the gym we're waiting for the parts i already ordered it we're waiting for the new the three new plugs in the back but right now you know instead of just waiting until it all comes in because i know this can be a pain we're gonna just start by taking off pretty much the cold air intake first and then like some of the wires we're gonna label them just to make sure we know how to put them back. If you guys have installed this, it's pretty easy. You already know. This was already loose and I could just take the filter off. Filter looks okay. Looks, looks in good condition. Imagine the filter behind the grill right here. Nah, I wouldn't put it down there, but. Would it even fit? It's like big. I don't know. That's pretty dope. Or like the Honda guys. <laughs> I will feel this sticking out of my lights. What you guys think? Should I, should I do it? Like on this side or whatever? Ooh, double filter. Like, oh man, that'll be pretty dope. What is this? Is that supposed to happen? I have oil in here. Hold up. That is definitely engine oil. Is this time for a new engine? I think we did order the right plugs. Look, it says Hitachi, Hitachi, whatever. That brand. Hitachi, come on, focus. Nissan, Hitachi. <laughs> All right, so we took that off now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking these little things off and we're gonna probably like label them just so we can make sure we put them back correctly. I'm gonna try to record, but if I don't, I just don't have where to put the camera either be in the way. You guys probably just look at me. I was gonna label this, but I think I can just take the rail off with these things, flip them over. So I can just take this off Instead of like disconnecting these little thingies. I don't think I have to, I don't think I have to do that. So we're gonna put it in this cup. All these little bolts. We should be able to just flip it over and we're good. We're not gonna put too much pressure so we don't break anything. So like I said, yeah, label it like for example two, two, like one, one. Three, three. So now that we got the front, we gotta take this one off. We gotta take that back one off as well. All right, we managed to take this off, but that's also wet. I don't know if it's supposed to be wet, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, nah, you won't be able to see it, but it has like, see? It has some fluid, so I don't know. Hopefully the engine's okay, man. So you guys see these lines right here, this one, this line, and there's another line here. One of them, I forgot which one it was, it's for a coolant. If you take it off, it's gonna shoot out coolant. So if you guys do this, do be careful with these lines. Just make sure you use the right, uh, the right size. You do not wanna strip this thing. If you do, you're pretty much done for. All right, this is, we got it off. So these lines are still connected. So we got it off. That's what the backside is looking like. Definitely, it smells like oil in here. I don't know if that's normal, but whatever. You guys will let me know. We're gonna start taking, there is a sequence for these things here. Um, I forgot which one it was, but I just kind of like loosened it little by little each one. But when we tighten it, we are gonna have to sequence it so it can all be perfect. This is where we're at right now. We took uh, this off. So when you take it off, be careful because there are still some hoses connected. So this, runs to it right here and then connects to the back remember cover these that make sure nothing falls in there because something falls in there you're yeah you're gonna have a really bad day so cover it with something i have a rag so i did that um here's the coil packs that we got to change most likely i'll try to change this as well because you guys see it's leaking i think it's this and hopefully i'll try to get like a new line for this, this is, these are all hard. This, 
freaking 200,000 mile. Now that we're here, guys, we're gonna take out the spark plug and check them. I already took one out, so that's what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and take out this other one. Now, since I don't have a specific spark plug thing, Majigger, I use this 14 millimeter long, you know, so it can go all the way in there with these two uh, attachments or extensions. And to take them out, since it's still in there, use the coil pack. Just put it in there, feel it, press it, bring it out. Like I showed you guys, I had some oil in the spark plug tube, so we try to clean that out. The reason why I didn't change this was because this is only almost a year old. I changed this one and I changed the front one as well. So I don't think there was a reason to change it. All the seals were new. I think that might have been just old grease or old oil from last time. All I decided to do was clean up right here. I try to clean the best I could, put the spark plug back. In the future, we are going to check to see and make sure everything is well. If there's more oil in there, then yeah, we gotta change that again. If there's not, then that means that was just the old oil from last time that I guess I probably either forgot to clean. I got the new one here. Iridium, well, NGK Iridium IX or whatever. I was gonna go with the laser iridium. The reason I didn't was because eventually I'm gonna take this off again. I didn't wanna spend so much money to ruin a spark plug if oil gets in there. These work just fine. Um, so for now I'm gonna run these cause I told you eventually I'm gonna be taking the manifold uh, this off again. So we're gonna put these in right now and hopefully we can get this finished in about an hour or so. One. Two, three. Now this doesn't, it doesn't seem to have oil on it, like neither the coil or the spark plug. So, so these are the coils I got, Hitachi. So these are the OEM original coil brand. Um, you could get a Denso or this one. They're both made in Japan anyway, but there's the one that goes with, uh, with the car, OEM. OEM. Trust me, guys. If you don't want problems, just go with OEM, honestly. Um, unless it's too expensive. Then you have a, uh, just find a better or a similar alternative. Just don't go to like a Chinese brand. But for example, Denso. If you didn't run these, you can run a Denso, which is Japan brand as well. So this Hitachi brand is just like that over there. It's the same brand, Hitachi. So I guess Nissan uses that on a lot of the products. And then if you want to just clean up your area, try to get everything out the way. Cause we're gonna put this next. We don't want nothing crowded or falling in there. Now you see it. And three, two, one. And just like that. Now I told you there is a sequence uh, to this. So I'm gonna look it up online. I just noticed something you guys see it remember when i told you why this felt so stretched out yeah it goes here not there that's why i'm like why is these two different so we just gotta put the cold air filter let me know in the comment i'm considering selling this like the whole thing the whole system so i know they don't sell these anymore i know you guys uh try to find or try to buy these but you couldn't find them because they were either out of stock or they just didn't have them but 
I'm considering selling this. If anybody would be interested, let me know. All right, so we put it on. Now we gotta do that. feels good other than the squeaking thingy the squeaking serpentine belt but guys i'm mad excited so the car is actually fixed right now order the three front the three front coil packs then i'm gonna order the temperature sensor and then i'm gonna order the evap control in the back so and after that we should have no more check engine lights so um hopefully we don't get oil in the spark plugs anymore um if we do we'll just throw the car away in the dumpster and we'll get a new one so go like for a 60 swap and comment down for boost <laughs> i wish well, no, nah, seriously, guys, I'm gonna catch you later. That's a gator. Uh, now that we got that fixed, hopefully the car is actually running well for a while and we don't have to do anymore so we can keep modding because we're still missing the rear diffuser and we're still missing the front grill and we're still missing something else and we're still missing other things and we still gotta do the inside of the car. So, but I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace out and peace out. <laughs> Oh, wait, I don't know. Peace out. Um, peace, peace out. out. <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> go ahead.